Hey guys, welcome back to John's Vintage Road Bike Garage. Today what I thought I'd do is give you a brief overview on how this place got started, some before and after shots, and maybe some during shots of the place getting built. Please check it out. There you have it guys, that's the garage in a nutshell. It's now full, full of a lot of bikes and signs and a workshop. Let's go through it. As you can see, we're fully loaded here. We got 34 bicycles of my collection here. Everything from my Harley Davidson Cruiser all the way to my gems up on the wall. Over here, you have my favorite channel playing up on the TV. Well, actually, I just don't want a copyright infringement. That's my channel, which is not my favorite channel. But anyways, got a nice workbench here. Got my video stand, so when I do my videos. Right now, we're working on a superior. We're gonna change out the seat and seat post. Yeah, I like cars too, if you couldn't tell. Little Husky toolbox. Now I'm at home, I have all my tools up on the wall, but here we've got them all pretty well laid out. Some more bicycle specific tools. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, spare parts. I got a bunch of those at home, a few here. Uh, junk. Yeah, so we got a few things going. We got a new saddle for the Pinarello. All the polishes and cleaners. And a couple cars. Now for you that are not into cars, there's nothing exciting here. 2001 Audi TT and a 2019 TTRS jacked up to about five and a quarter horse. It's a lot of fun. Some of you are familiar with this beast. This is a 1995 Harley Davidson bicycle they had contracted with GT bicycles back in the day and came up with these. And I worked for them at the time and it's pretty cool. That is one of two of my daily riders. That is a 2019 uh, Specialized Tarmac Pro. And believe it or not, that 16 and a half pound bike holds my fat butt up. Go figure, but it's fast. Also, I have a Moots Route 45, which is a uh, gravel bike. There's so many trails around here uh, that this is the one I ride pretty much 90% of the time. I only ride the tarmac during those uh, training rides with the crew because that's the only way I'm going to keep up. But yeah, if you watch my video, you'll see the selection online in uh, down below or above. I don't know, whatever that is. I have videos on most of these bikes. And the next one coming out is this, where we change the cockpit. And you guys have seen all these before. Got some signs. This is actually a Miata dealer sign. Uh, that was from 1982. Raleigh sign I got from a bike shop in, from Niles, Illinois, called The Bike Shop. Specialized sign. Hmm, where did I get that? Oh, I think I got that from, I have no clue, doesn't matter. 
Now this is kind of fun. This Miata poster actually uh, came from Mike's Bike Shop in Palatine, Illinois. They're still there. Uh, when I was a vendor, that was hanging in the shop. Man, that was over 30 years ago. Now over here, this is where I stage pictures and stretch out, but I stage pictures for upcoming videos such as this Mercy and Build. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. This is cool. You may have seen it in the background. I was hanging some parts on it, and but now we're going to build it. This was my wife's idea. Kind of fun. It's a mirror down below, glass all the way through up top. Just a way to display some model cars. Now this has nothing to do with bikes, but I'll take you upstairs. Now upstairs we have a living space. I also do a lot of work here. Got another TV, a couple more bikes. There'll be a couple more there. I sleep here sometimes. That is a Murphy bed that comes down. And over on this side, we got a full kitchen. We're also good for a couple glasses of wine when you're here. Of course, you got to have the Campagnolo bottle opener. That's a must. Not to mention a full fridge. Well, I know some guys think that this is quite the overkill, and it kind of is. There's so much going on here. It's not only a place to store my bicycles, a couple cars, but it's also a place I do my business as well. So there's a lot of uses for it. And uh, if you're ever in the Chicagoland area, you could come on by, you could geek out on bicycles uh, downstairs and just, you know, have a lot of fun and uh, share a beer. Uh, if you have any questions and comments, uh, leave them down below in the comments section and uh, I'll get back to you right away. I uh, pay a lot of attention to that. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel and you'll see all the new upcoming projects, which there will be plenty. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Well, it's also a place you can geek out on a lot of cars I can't afford. These are a hoot. Check this out. Great shape. Almost looks like they're touching this. They are not. Beautiful. Check that out. It's a Thunderbird. Yeah, Thunderbird. Yep, here's another one you don't see every day. You got a Countach. 72 Benz. Got a, uh, what is this thing? It's a Lambo Mercilago. Okay. It looks like an i8. Got a Benz GT 63S bi turbo. Pretty cool. Oh, check this out. Another Lambo. Beautiful Dodge truck. Nice Ferrari. GT 500. And last but not least, we have a dump car.